Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar More than 700 years ago these hills and valleys were resonating with the name of Allah and his messenger. The brilliance of the Islamic empire in Spain is well known, but at its demise, the few believers in the one God sought refuge in this valley from their pursuers. But the glory of Islam was to come again 700 years later through the hands of the true custodian of Islam. Join us for the next hour as we follow the activities of Hazrat Amir al muminin and the inauguration of the second mosque of Islam Ahmadiyyat in Spain. Witness the return of Islam through Hazrat Khalifa al the V, the true leader of the true Islam. हमने बहरे खुदा तेरी बेयत जो की तू हमारा हुआ हम तेरे हो गए तू हमारा हुआ हम तेरे हो गए The 15th and 16th century inquisition in Spain led to the eradication of nearly all signs of Islam from Spain and there was no sign of Muslims returning to the land they once called home. But the Ahmadiyya Muslim community wasted no time. Missionaries were sent to Spain, and after nearly seven centuries, the first mosque was established in 1982. The Basharat Mosque in Pedrabad was inaugurated by the fourth Khalifa of the Promised Messiah, Hazrat Mirza Tahir Ahmad Rahmullah. This was a truly historic occasion, not only for the Muslims, but even neighboring Christians were fascinated by this new establishment. The seeds of the return of Islam were sown. <laughs> Hazrat Khalifa al Masih V has visited Spain twice in the past, each time guiding the local community to do more and spread the message of Islam where it had once prevailed. His third visit was to be crucial, for it was the inauguration of the second mosque of Islam, this time in Balenthia the last region where Muslims sought refuge before their expulsion or forced conversion. Hazu arrived in Spain on the 26th of March 2013 at Madrid Barajas airport and was led through pre-arranged access straight from the plane to an exclusive VIP exit where he was greeted by the National Emir and members of the National Ahmadiyya Executive Council. Hazur then made his journey 220 miles away to Balenthia. Traditionally, this journey would have taken around three and a half hours by car, but Hazur was to make his journey by the new AVE high-speed train network. Hazur was led through special access by the train administration to a chartered carriage designated for Hazur and the entourage members. The AVE trains travel at speeds of up to 300 km per hour and are fully catered for long journeys. The regular commuters were quite fascinated to see Hazur, who also graciously met ex-Real Madrid goalkeeper Santiago Canidares. A journey that would have taken more than three hours took only one and a half hours, and Hazur then made his way to the Beit Rahman Mosque, where he greeted the anxiously waiting Jamaat and made a brief inspection of the mosque, before leading the first prayer at the new mosque. Hazrat Khalifa al Masih has been extraordinarily active and adamant on the building of mosques in every city and region of Europe. Last year alone, Hazu inaugurated a great number of mosques in various European countries. Mosques not only serve as a hub for the community to gather and worship, but they are a beacon to the larger community, promoting diversity, 
along with naturally serving as the perfect source of tablighi to the population at large. The foundation for the Baitur Rahman Mosque was laid by Hazur in 2010 in the town of La Pobla de Valbona, 20 kilometers from the city of Valencia. The Valencia region was the last safe haven for the Muslims, where they survived for around 400 years after the start of the Inquisition, until they were expelled completely. Islam was to return, more glorious than ever to this region. And what better way to do so than through the establishment of a mosque? On the 29th of March 2013, Hazrat Khalifa Masih V inaugurated the Baitur Rahman Mosque and delivered the Friday sermon live to the whole world from Valencia. Hazur stated that the reason he chose Valencia as the location of this mosque was because Spanish history tells us that when the cruel king and queen forcibly converted Muslims to Christianity, Valencia was an area where in spite of the persecution, Arabic continued to be spoken. Muslims in Valencia continued with their worship of God and maintained their teaching, whereas other Spanish Muslims of the time did not openly assert their faith. Hazu also stated that we should pray for our offspring with great angst. We pledge in our meetings that we will be ever ready to make every sacrifice. We need to also instill this spirit in our next generation. However, we should realize that with the time the nature of sacrifice changes. When the early Muslims came to Spain and spread all over it, they fought jihad with the sword. However, the sacrifice of the time is jihad of tabligh and the financial contribution for the building of mosques. The nature of sacrifice changes with circumstances. We have to do our responsibilities. If we do our responsibilities and responsibilities, then we can achieve our responsibilities. We are saying that, Oh, Messiah Muhammad, آ حضرت صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے عشق صادق ہم نے جو آپ سے عہد بیت باندھا ہے کہ دین کو دنیا پر مقدم رکھیں گے اور توحید کو دنیا میں پھیلائیں گے تو اس مسئلہ کی تعمیر کے وجہ سے جو دنیا کی اسلام کی طرف توجہ پیدا ہوگی تبلیغ کے جو راستے کھلیں گے ان کا حق ادا کرتے ہوئے اپنی تمام تر صلاحیتیں بروے کار لاتے ہوئے توحید کا قیام اور ملک کے بشندوں کو آ حضرت صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے جھنڈے تلے لانا ہمارا ولین فرض ہوگا انشاءاللہ اے خدا اے سمی اور علیم خدا ہماری دعائیں سن لے ہمیں اپنے فرائض نبھانے کی توفیق اتا فرما یہ مسجد جو تیرے گھر کی زتبوں میں بنائی گئی ہے اس کو ان مقاصد کے حصول کا ذریعہ بنا جو تیرے گھر بنانے کے مقاصد ہیں تو علیم ہے تو ہماری کمزوریوں اور ناہلیوں کو بھی جانتا ہے بس ہماری دعائیں سنتے ہوئے ہماری ناہلیوں سے صرف نظر کرتے ہوئے ہمیں مسجد کی تعمیر کے مقاصد کو پورا کرنے والا بنا Many local newspapers also covered the event and published articles on Hazrat Khalifa al Masih, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community in Spain, and the establishment of the Baitur Rahman Mosque in Valencia. One of the main activities of Khalifa al Masih is giving his time to each member of the community. Hazu ensures that all the community members get the chance to meet him in person, individually or in delegations, where they get the chance to seek guidance in various matters, to ensure that they are doing all they can for their own spiritual well-being and the spiritual well-being of their children. His travels are also a time when those who have recently entered the fold of Islam Ahmadiyyad, and even those who are thinking of joining, have an opportunity to meet and see the blessed person of the Khalifa of the time. Similarly, on his visit to Balanthia, Hazu gave his personal time to individuals and families. Recent converts to Islam from Spain and neighboring countries of mainland Europe also had the opportunity to meet Hazrat Khalifa al Masih. The first of these delegations was Ahmadi Muslim converts of Arabic origin from Spain and France. Hazu inquired from all members who they were and how they entered the fold of Islam Ahmadiyyad. The second delegation was Ahmadi converts of West African origin living in Portugal. 
In both delegations, Hazu reminded all of their duties towards God and his fellow beings. Hazu emphasized that all should remain steadfast and firm in their belief and put every effort they can into spreading the message of Islam Muhammadiyyah in their respective countries. On the evening of Friday the 29th of March, Hazu took the Pledge of Allegiance known as Ba'ath from converts and all those present. A reminder to all of Spain and in fact Ahmadi Muslims of the whole region that we must spend every day of our lives adhering to the ten conditions of initiation set out by Hazrat Masih Maud, the promised Messiah and Mahdi, on how to live our lives as the model for the human race. The same evening, a dinner was hosted by the local community in honor of Hazrat Khalifa al Masih, which was attended by all the local Ahmadiyya community. Hazu first led a silent prayer and dinner followed. The task the Spanish Ahmadiyya Muslim community have ahead of them is not an easy one. If the message of the rejuvenation of Islam is to reach all of Spain, and at the same time the community itself has to be brought up with high standards of spirituality and morality, an army of missionaries and dedicated devotees is needed. This is where the Wakfino scheme comes in, which ensures that children are dedicated to the cause of Islam before their birth, by their parents and are brought up with such care and consideration of their religious and moral upbringing that they become a model for the society and all those around them, regardless of which walk of life they choose. Hazrat Khalifa al Masih is always concerned about the upbringing of the Waqfinaw children and wherever he travels, he ensures that there is always a sitting with the Waqfinaw children so that he himself is aware of their moral and spiritual state and many a times guides them in their preferences and choices. Hazur had a meeting with Wakfino boys and Wakfino girls separately. On both occasions, portions of the Holy Quran were recited with translations in Spanish, together with a hadith of the Holy Prophet ﷺ, excerpts from the writings of the Promised Messiah ﷺ were read out, and informative presentations were made related to the early history of the Muslims and the establishment of Islam Ahmadiyyat in Spain. Hazur then graciously answered many questions posed to him by the children, each time giving an answer applicable to all ages of children which no doubt will serve them for the rest of their lives. Hazur inquired from both young and old as to what stage they were in their education and what they had decided to do as part of their dedication, sometimes advising himself as to what specific path will be best suited for them in their respective field of interest. On the evening of Saturday the 30th of March, Hazu led the Amin ceremony for children who had just finished their first recitation of the Holy Quran. In Islam, love for the Quran is inculcated from a very young age. The Quran sits at the heart of a Muslim's belief as it is a complete guide for a Muslim and one spends his whole life applying what they learn from the Quran in their own life. Hazu asked each child to recite a small portion of the Holy Quran, which was followed by a silent prayer. The land of Spain is blessed with many beauties. And so on the 2nd of April, Hazur visited the coastal town of Calp in the province of Alicante. In summer, Calp becomes a very busy tourist attraction due to its magnificent beaches and its natural park which hosts many Iberian, Roman and Arab archaeological sites. Nearing the town, Hazur was escorted by protocol police escorts to the mayor's office. Mayor Cesar Sanchez welcomed Hazur to Calp, where Hazur inquired the demographics and various other details of the city. Mayor Cesar Sanchez explained his pre-existing interest in Arab Muslim culture and his desire to learn more. Es un, 
Es el Santo Corán uh -huh. traducido al castellano ah, con el árabe con el árabe eh, a un lado, el castellano al otro y algunas introducciones y comentarios a pie de página. Ah, y pues es un obsequio para mí muy interesante porque estuve un tiempo, lo que pasa es que no tengo tiempo, a punto de empezar clases de árabe en el centro islámico y hablando incluso con el profesor porque me llama mucho, la verdad es que me interesa, me, me llama mucho la, mucho la atención. Pero la falta de tiempo, desde luego que me va a servir para, para consultarlo y para verlo. Y uh, even contacted the Islamic Center. In, uh, yeah, the original Arabic text are translation. Yeah, this is the text original Arabic a la izquierda y luego tienes la, la traducción. Sí. Yeah, Islam is the classic. Uh, este, ¿Es usted? No, no. The founder of the. Él es el fundador de la comunidad. Muy bien. Bueno, nosotros tenemos un pequeño presente porque de todos los libros de todos los libros que tenemos de Calpe, que se han escrito diversos, hay uno que, que refleja a través de las fotos, es un, muy sencillo, refleja a través de las fotos lo que es Calpe. Y al final, como entendemos que la mejor forma de poder conocer una ciudad o un pueblo es a través de las fotos, este libro para nosotros representa en fotos lo que es nuestro pueblo. Y es un pequeño sencillo presente eh, de nuestro pueblo. We've got many books uh, regarding Calpe, mm -hmm. but this is the, the, the one we appreciate most because it's made of photos. Ah, so right. the story of our town and what's our town now, all is in the shape of photos. Mm -hmm. so this is de la importancia de las imágenes. Dice que la ventaja es que para el que no sabe español, evidentemente es el libro más adecuado porque sí, la foto es muy, una foto es muy, muy, muy visual. Es muy visual. Mm, me ha hecho muchísima ilusión lo de lo de tener el Corán en yes, traducido. Si me lo permiten y ahora que no me escucha nadie, mm -hmm. no lo dejaré en el ayuntamiento y me lo llevaré a mi casa. He wants to keep it for his house, it's, it's, for his home. The idea is personal. I think it's a personal. Teniendo en cuenta que no nos escucha nadie. Consul, consul, que dice ahí tomo orden. Dice que si el el ayuntamiento necesita otro para la biblioteca, ya lo haremos llegar. Pues sí, estaría bien. Estaría bien. Consul de la librería, ¿no? Tiene tenéis una biblioteca. Sí, municipal. Consul de la librería que le ordene que ya personal. Dice que este es tu regalo personal y ya te haremos llegar otro para la. Vale. La, 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 me gustaría la, que sí. nos pudiese firmar en el libro si me sacas mi bolita, The mayor asked Hazur to write a few words in his guest book. Hazur expressed his thankfulness and gratitude for the mayor of the town of Calpe for the welcoming gesture expressed by him upon Hazur's visit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. After the meeting, Hazur headed towards the natural park of Paniel d'Efach. The Paniel d'Efach is a massive limestone outcrop emerging from the sea and linked to the shore by rock debris. It is a home to numerous rare plants including a number of endemic species and over 300 species of animals and a nesting site for colonies of seabirds and other birds. Rising to over 300 meters high, the rock is a striking visual feature of the Mediterranean coastline. Historically, it was known to the Phoenicians as the Northern Rock to distinguish it from its southern counterpart, the Rock of Gibraltar. Hazu was greeted by a local guide at the base of the hill, who showed Hazu some archaeological sites and led him on a tour of a small museum showcasing some of the rare plants and birds that populate the area, as well as outlining a brief history of the area.
solo con eh, acercarnos a los balcones que tenemos en esta edificación sí. de allí, así que luego ya... Y de, sí, que luego ya ¿Vamos a los balcones ahora? Sí, sí. 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 On the 3rd of April, a special reception was held in celebration of the inauguration of the Baitur Rahman Mosque, where a large number of guests ranging from high levels of the government to the local neighbours were invited. Some guests had an opportunity to sit with Hazrat Khalifatul Masih before the event and converse with Hazur on various topics. Hazur answered a range of questions from religion to current affairs, and his company was enjoyed by all the guests. She's saying she's the mayor of this town. Uh, this town? Lagona. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, she's the lady mayor of this town. And uh, she says that she knows the Jamaat for many years now. They, we have been living together. Uh, it's true that in the beginning there were some uh, problems with the neighborhood. They were uh, frightened that maybe they didn't know us. They, they thought we might pose sort of uh, problems for them. Uh, but then, because we were fully open to them, and because we were uh, not only showing them what we were going to do, but even we showed them uh, our plans, our masjid, and uh, uh, according to uh, this attitude of ours, uh, they ended up learn learning that uh, we, we really didn't, uh, uh, we were not going to be any problem for them. And uh, nowadays, I mean, uh, everybody in the town is satisfied. And she only asks that we should carry on with this attitude so that uh, the new neighbors, which are us, and the old neighbors which have been living here all their life through, they might uh, keep, uh, uh, I mean, living together uh, so that uh, uh, she says that at the present there is no there is no problem and uh, I hope I there will not be any problem in the future <laughs> as well. Yeah. Yeah. I hope there will not be any problem in the future as well. Yeah, dice su santidad que él, él está convencido o espera que no va a haber ningún problema en el futuro tampoco. Sí. First, anyway, since she has uh, been helpful to us, first of all I would like to thank you very much for helping us for uh, taking this courageous step by allowing us to build the mosque here. And uh, I learned that you have taken a great role in it. So I thank you very much. Dice que él te da las gracias porque sabe que has tenido una actitud valiente aquí con el proyecto de la mezquita y eh, 
eh, digamos, él las ha ido sabiendo cómo has, eh, nos has ido ayudando en todos los pasos y él quiere expresar tu agradecimiento en este momento. And, uh, today in the formal uh, meeting there, I'm not going to give any formal, very formal address, but to thank the neighbors and the mayor and the councils to those who have uh, allowed us, who have permitted us to build this mosque here. And as far as we are concerned, wherever we are in this society, in any society, in any part of the world, we try to integrate with the local people. And you will see, we all are just like you. There will not be any much difference, just apart from that of a uh, way of worship to Allah. Thank you. The main event followed, which commenced by the recitation and translation of the verses of the Holy Quran. A brief introduction to the Ahmadiyya Muslim community and Hazrat Khalifa al Masih was given, which was followed by speeches by some notable guests. It has been more than 12 years since the Ahmadiyya Muslim community has been our neighbours. You have a long relationship with us and we have been ever since living in harmony with you. Your Holiness, I would like to commend the effort that you, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, have put into building this beautiful mosque in which we are in. I also want to send my salutation to the representative of all religions. I am very happy that we are sitting here together in the name of God, the Merciful. This was followed by an inspiring address by Hazrat Khalifa al Masih, where Hazus said that he wished to reassure the Spanish people that the new mosque would be a source of peace and compassion. He said the mosque would foster a spirit of togetherness and unity within the society. Hazur thanked the neighbours and all the guests for attending and said the mosque had been built to serve as a place of brotherhood and unity. Whoever comes here with pious intentions, be it a Muslim or a non-Muslim, will have the doors of the mosque always open for them. This mosque has been named Masjid Badur Rahman, that is, a house of God, who is ever gracious and who shows kindness to his creation without any conditions. We who have built this mosque will ensure that we continue to serve and help the communities we live in and to serve God's creation. I would also like to define to you what a neighbor means. Not only is your immediate neighbor on either side of your house a neighbor, but even locations on each side as far as a hundred house distance are considered to be neighbors. A person traveling with you in a train or a car or a bus and even your work colleague is a neighbor. In this way the definition for a neighbor is very vast. We have been taught that we should never act in a way to cause our neighbor any inconvenience. Hence, we are not here to cause you any disturbance, but rather are here to serve you. We are here to share with you our community, join you in your activities, and live peacefully and happily with you. The guests were absolutely delighted and impressed with Hazu's address where after all the guests had an opportunity to meet and talk to Hazrat Khalifa al Masih. I got to know the community many years ago through the first missionary that came to Spain. He explained to me about the suffering he endured and the time he spent in jail, and so today I am bearing witness to the honour of seeing your Khalifa. It was since then that I heard the slogan, love for all, hatred for none, and I have been inspired by this every day. I believe that it was a very good speech because the idea of living peacefully with each other in the current situation is very important. It is something that needs to be transmitted and it's something that should be made known to the media and press, not the idea that certain minorities show off division. I think that this is the true reality that all the Muslims and the whole world should share. I remember in the beginning the community having very limited resources and today I see that from that seed the community has flourished and built a beautiful mosque here in Balantia. Escucha por todos los sitios. Bueno, en primer lugar, yo creo que hay que dar la enhorabuena a toda la comunidad.
I would like to congratulate the whole of the Ahmadiyya community for this wonderful building. The impression that I have is to have had met a holy man, the Khalifa and the worldwide leader of your community. A person who preaches by his very own example a message of peace, love and respect towards all the people and I believe that this is the most important thing and also the fact that this mosque is devoted to a goal of good intentions for all people. Although I am a Christian, I feel great acquaintance with what His Holiness has said tonight, because even though we have a different religion, there are actually more things that unite us rather than separate us. And I have felt that His Holiness is a very open person since even I was able to greet him. By this time the news of the mosque had spread far and wide, and the next few days saw visits to the mosque by neighbours and guests from around the area who were given a tour of the mosque and shown around a special exhibition prepared on the history of the community in Spain. Guests showed a keen interest in the interpretation of Islam laid out by the Promised Messiah and all got to witness the purpose of the mosque already begin to fulfil itself. To mark the inauguration of the mosque, Zhu also planted a small tree. On the 5th of April, Hazu delivered his second and last Friday sermon of the visit to Spain, which was again telecast live around the world. The whole world witnessed the Khalifa of Islam speak from the very land Muslims were thrown out of a few centuries ago. Hazu outlined all the basic guidelines and beautiful teachings of Islam concerning the relationship between Muslims in all spheres of the society. Teachings the early Muslims had failed to act upon which ultimately led to their downfall. Hazur said that no one is exempt from commandments of God, neither he nor anyone else, be they office holders of the Jamaat, missionaries of the Jamaat, Ahmadi men or women. As long as we will firmly hold on to the rope of Allah and will practice every commandment of the Holy Quran and will remember God's favour that he has made us an Ahmadi, we will be paying his dues as well as the dues of his house. دین اسلام کی خوبیاں بتا کر آ حضرت صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے جھنڈے تلے لانا ہے اور اس کے لیے سب سے اہم چیز اللہ تعالیٰ کی عبادت گاہ کدا کرنا اس سے مدد مانگنا اور ایک اکائی بن کر تبلیغ کا کام کرنا ہے بس صرف حضرت مسیم علیہ السلۃ والسلام کا وقت ہی اتحاد و اتفاق کو ترقی دینے کا وقت نہیں تھا بلکہ آج بھی جب کہ ہم بہت بڑا دعویٰ لے کر کھڑے ہوئے ہیں کہ اس ملک کو اسلام کے جھنڈے تلے لائیں گے سب سے پہلے اپنے اندر اتفاق و اتحاد کو ترقی دینے اور اس کے اعلیٰ معیار قائم کرنے کی ضرورت ہے اگر تمام عہدے داروں اور ہر فرد جماعت نے اکائی بننے میں اپنا کردار ادا نہ کیا تو مسجد اور خانہ خدا کا حق ادا کرنے والے نہیں بن سکتے حضور وزٹ واز کمنگ ٹو اے کلوز سو ود ریگارڈس ٹو دی اسلامک ہسٹری آف دا ریجن دا اسپینش احمدیا کمیونٹی ارینج ون لاسٹ ایکسکرژن فار حضور ٹو بالے دی الکالا دا ویلی آف الکالا During the Spanish Inquisitions, Muslims were forced out of the major cities and made to give up their very homes and lands they cultivated. They were forced into regions of Spain with very poor lands and degraded soil. Yet even this they cultivated and made prosperous. The not-so-lucky were either killed or forced out of Spain on ships to North African territories, many of which were attacked by pirates and travelers eventually thrown overboard 
or killed. Many Muslims died from poor health and disease on the ports. Many of these towns were originally Muslim settlements, hidden away in the mountains with signs of Muslim cultivation still present. Many churches seen were originally mosques. Even in these regions, the suffering of the Muslims did not end. Many were forced to convert to Christianity, leading a double life with a Christian veil over their Muslim hearts. If that wasn't enough, their children were finally taken away from them and were forced to grow up in Christian households. Such is the history of the lands Hazur was visiting. On a cold and windy afternoon, Hazur finally arrived at the historic town of Alcala de la Cobada, which was the last seat of the Muslim king al Azraq, who unsuccessfully fought King James I to protect the Muslims. Hazur was greeted by the town mayor, Juan José Sendra. Hazur and the mayor spoke at length on various issues of mutual interest. The mayor requested Hazur to sign his guest book in Urdu. Hazur, touched by the history of the region and the warm welcome of the mayor, wrote, Esto lo habíamos aprendido de nuestra propia historia y también gracias al profesor Gironés que nos lo ha ido explicando a lo largo del camino. Es posible que usted sea también hijo de alguno de aquellos musulmanes de aquella época. Sí, posiblemente. 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 Son muchos, son muchos siglos y, y efectivamente quedó, quedó gente aquí, quedó gente aquí. Muchísimas, muchísimas gracias. Espero que disfrute de este, de este pueblo cargado de historia y gran parte de esa historia es es islámica, es, es musulmana. Uh, he says that he expects Hazur to enjoy very much the visiting of this area, especially because the history is Muslim. Yes, which did he say a Muslim man said Brag is a very stick bulk yen on it? Would you meet that in the end of the Muslim man whom he? Dice que por la forma en que lo ha recibido con tanto cariño, está seguro que hay sangre musulmana, parte de sangre musulmana en tus venas. Y con Ani Krim, ¿no? Y Ani que musulmán se refiere a los musulmanes que yo hago que el que termina el libro es porque es Ibrahim el Islam que vi. El Dawane es el musulmán que nadie dice. Dice que cuando se refiere al término musulmán, no se refiere solo a la forma en que habitualmente se entiende el término musulmán, porque el Santo Corán. Eh, al profeta Abraham, que es el patriarca de todas las religiones, también le denomina musulmán, es decir, es un término más amplio. Porque musulmán que el lafzi matlabi que es, yo aman pejne va, aman serane va, la aman kaim karne va. Porque el, la palabra musulmán significa aquel ser humano que no solo vive en paz, sino que intenta transmitir la paz a su entorno. Muy bien. Y si le, antes de la semana de formaya, حقیقی مسلمان وہ ہے جس کے ہاتھ سے اور زبان سے ہر وہ شخص جو امن پسند ہے اور امن سے رہنا چاہتا ہے وہ محفوظ رہتا ہے کہ سانت پروفیتہ علیہ السلام دیکھو کہ الوراد مسلمان اس اکیل دل کوال نو رتیبے نگون دانیوں 
eh, eh, aquel, el, el resto de la gente que vive en paz. Sí. Por lo tanto, aquellas personas que como usted le gusta la paz, desde el punto de vista de su santidad también son musulmanes. Y aquellas personas que se llaman a sí mismos musulmanes, pero que no respetan la paz, en realidad no son musulmanes. Estoy, estoy completamente de acuerdo. Y dile a su santidad que su mensaje de paz es importante en un mundo como el actual, en el que en el que vivimos y es importante esa religiosidad que él transmite para, para las personas. Yo he dicho que el mensaje de paz es no solo importante para toda la humanidad, sino que la religiosidad o la espiritualidad que Azur uh, transmite es también esencial para la humanidad. Gracias. Yeah, muchas gracias. ये सफर तो दूर का था थोड़ा सा वाइंडी भी था चक्रान चक्रों वाला भी था हम्म लेकिन यहाँ आके इनसे मिलके इलाका देख के जो सफर की थोड़ी बहुत थकावट थी भी तो खत्म हो गई इधर के विहार ये सीधो एक पोको लार्गो एक पोको मारेंटे पर्यटन सीधो पर टर्रेनों में इसी नुवासों पर क्या नहीं होना दूधा के दस प्रतिगार ha desaparecido el cansan muchísimas gracias por su por su amabilidad pero que esto forma parte de este pueblo también de, de la geografía española es decir, de, que no es solo playa sí. la comunidad valenciana no es solo playa sino que también tiene una parte más agreste más eh, en la que se refugiaron precisamente los sí. Cada que Spain sirve bien y yo va a hacerlo, yo atiendo su estén que ya han pego san orbiches, que de es que son que yo Spain cada isla ya se llega el acá, ya han pego musulmano, mató yo vi vaya ti, para lo ana para ir este. Para hal, el acá mucha es, or me pele ya dos dos pele vi Spain a chico, mucho pata otra कि इससे ऐसा खूबसूरत इलाका भी है और यहाँ इन जैसे खूबसूरत इंसान भी रहते हैं जो इंसानियत की वैल्यूज को जानते हैं तो मैं पहले यहाँ आ जाता और इनको मिलता जैसे कि इल अभी तो यादव बेटे से स्पेनिया पेरो दे अवेर साबितो कि अभी यह फोनेस तम बोनिता इस कमाल के अभिस्तो इ पर्सनल्स तम मरवीजोसा In the center of the town stands the church of Al-Azraq, previously the king's palace and the town mosque. Outside the now church is an inscription that says, Al-Azraq was born in Al-Qala sometime during 1218 and 1220. Here he had, according to the chronicles of King James I, his largest home, and he lived here until 1275. His palace occupied this whole block of houses. The streets and buildings of the town all point to a time bygone. The architecture reminiscent of a quiet Muslim era and the remoteness of the village a testament to the hardships Muslims had to face. But none were more remarkable than the ruins of the Muslim village of La Adubia, now a desolate but still standing ruin of a small farming village. The entire village is surrounded by natural beauty and the small houses and quarters are what were once barns and stables and living quarters of Muslim farmers who would grow olives, almonds and cherries. Even now, many cherries bought in the UK are from this region. Accompanying him as a guide was a historian of early Muslims in Spain, Professor Ignacio Dirones Gilem. Professor Ignacio Gerones accompanied Hazur on a brief tour of the ruins. 
It was the typical place where the Muslim farmer uh, used to have his house, like. Reconocer ahora, es decir, esto está olvidado hasta, hasta 1950. This, all this place was forgotten until 1950. Only until 1950 they started recognizing that it was the Muslim place where, uh, where they used to live. De que no avance la construcción. Espérate, como están que es que hubo degradación, no, 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 que luego que es que mujer ca o pegando en llevón ca hasta que vos per el que se me robó pa hoy manes esco bien dot manje tu preserva ya tu dibar de veto se me da y carle esco bien dot manje debe ser que había aquí reforzamiento de estructura no sé que no se cayera sí ya que chaco ni mitiga no tu mitiga que de plus que se me da la hueá vos que se me da que tenéis para mí ya esto así como si fuera cemento no By the end of the tour, even the professor was impressed with Hazrat Khalifatul Masih and could not help but say that Spain should know that Muslims have returned. Hazur even instructed members of the entourage to give adhan, where more than 400 years ago, Muslims had once called out the name of Allah to the hills and mountains. Shahadu Allah ilaha illallah Shahadu Allah ilaha illallah Shahadu anna Muhammad Shahadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah Hayya ala salat Hayya ala salat
Hazur also instructed Munir Odeh, the head of MTA Productions and a Palestinian by origin, to give azan, stating that it was Arabs who had been forced out of these lands, so it is rather more fitting that an Ahmadi Muslim Arab should call the azan. <laughs> Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Hayya 'ala as-salah Hayya 'ala Once more, the air and the valley was filled with the name of Allah and his messenger. <laughs>